Dear aspirants, concentrate question on limiting error calculation. A 0 to 100 volts voltmeter has an accuracy of 1% at full scale reading. What will be the error if it reads 50 volts? This is most important 5 star model of question. To solve this model of question, you have to remember one formula. Percentage limiting error equal to percentage limiting error equal to full scale reading by true value full scale reading by true value into plus or minus percentage accuracy at full scale at full scale this is most important 5 star model of question in all the computer exams, based on this formula, question is framed. Apply this formula for this question, we can get the answer. Then what is the percentage limiting error? Percentage limiting error equal to full scale reading. How much full scale reading is given? It is a 0 to 100 volts voltmeter. Na? Full scale reading is 100 volts. What is the true value in the measurement of 50 volts? The value to be measured is a true value. This is 50 volts. What is the accuracy at full scale? Accuracy at full scale is this you have to take 1%. This is 1% or you take plus or minus 1%. Then what you can get? Plus or minus 2% is the answer. Then what is the error at 50 volts measurement? In the measurement of 50 volts, what are the error students? The percentage limiting error that is equal to plus or minus 2 percent in the given options. Which option is correct? That is 2 percent is the correct option. That is option B is the right answer. This is the question with respect to limiting error calculation and basic error analysis question. Yes, concentrate. Concentrate question on how to calculate the range of measured value in error analysis. A 0 to 300 volts voltmeter has an error of plus or minus 2 percent of full scale deflection. What is the range of reading if true voltage is 30 volts? It is very simple model of question. Most of the all the compute exams, this model is repeated friends. range you have to know the absolute error. Absolute error tells the range of measured value is a calculate change. It is given that 2 percent of full scale deflection. How much full scale deflection? The full scale reading equal to 300 volts. Full scale reading is 300 volts. Now you have to calculate absolute error at full scale. Absolute error at full scale. Absolute error at full scale. What is the absolute error at full scale? 2 percent of full scale plus or minus 2 by 100 into 2 percent na 2 by 100 na this is plus or minus 6 volts. This is the absolute error. Once you know the absolute error, this absolute error we have to subtract and add from the true value. But you have the doubt here. Sir, you calculated absolute error at 300 volts. How? You are using this absolute error for 30 volts. Point to remember students, for a given meter, absolute error is a constant error. 300 volts you have to calculate absolute error. For 30 volts also you have to calculate absolute error. It is a constant error. I calculated absolute error at full scale. Same absolute error we have to use for 30 volts also. This is the true value. Then how to get the range of measured value? Range of measured value range of measured value up to what range we can measure this 30 volts is the true value now plus or minus 6 we have to add then plus or minus 6 means subtract 30 minus 6 to add 30 plus 6 now because absolute error if you subtract 24 volts to 36 volts this is the range of measured value range of measured values. 
this model is also most important model of question with respect to error analysis that you have to concentrate 24 volts to 36 volts then which option is correct in the given options 24 volts to 36 volts that is option A is the right answer concentrate concentrate question on error propagation or error due to combination of quantities this also one of the most important model of question with respect to error analysis the arms of the wheatstone bridge are shown in the figure for balanced condition the least tolerance value of r4 will be here it is asking that uh, bridge is balanced at balanced condition what is the value of error in r4 concept very simple students we know that uh, at bridge balanced, at balanced condition, at balanced condition, we have to apply product of opposite resistances are equal. That is, this product of resistances and this product of resistances is equal. This is at bridge balanced condition. Then, what this resistance? 10 plus or minus 2 percent into opposite resistance is R4 is equal to these two opposite resistances now 100 plus R minus 3 percent 100 plus R minus 3 percent into into this is 5 plus R minus 5 percent 5 plus R minus 5 percent then I am writing R4 equal to this 100 plus R minus 3 percent 100 plus R minus 3 percent this is 5 plus R minus 5 percent, 5 plus R minus 5 percent divided by this is 10 plus R minus 2 percent. Then what is the R4 value strengths? Multiplication 100 into 5, 500, 500 by 10, 50. This is normal analysis. What about error analysis? In multiplication, percentage errors are added. In division also, percentage errors are added. 3%, 5 percent, 8%, 8%, 2%, 10%. I am telling that percentage errors are added or percentage limiting errors are added in multiplication and division. Do not multiply errors. Normal analysis all of you well known. 100 into 5, 500 all of you know. 500 by 10, 50 that you know. But how to do the error analysis that is important here. In multiplication errors are added, percentage errors are added, 3 percent plus 5 percent, 8 percent. In division also percentage errors are added, 8 percent plus 2 percent, 10 percent. Then what is the R4 value? 50 plus R minus 10 percent is the right answer. In the given options, which option is correct students? That is 50 plus R minus 10 percent is the right answer. That is option D is the right answer. Clear? Okay. That you have to concentrate. This model is also most important model for different computer exams point of view. Concentrate. Uh, this also question based on with respect to error analysis and that is error propagation. This question is asked based on the capacitance values. Two capacitances C1 and C2 are connected in parallel. What is the error of the resultant capacitance C? What the error of the resultant capacitance means? It is very simple question. But given is uh, two capacitances are connected in parallel. In parallel combination, C1 and C2 are parallel. If C1, C2, these are not the resistances, na? it is a parallel. Capacitances are parallel. In capacitances parallel, directly capacitances are added. Directly capacitances are added. Na? Then this is 150, this is 120, this is how much? 150 plus 120, 270. 270 plus or minus. Students, we know that in addition and subtraction, absolute errors are added directly. This is given in absolute errors. This is 2.4, this is 1.5. 2.4 plus 1.5, what we can get? 3.9. This resultant is equal to 270 plus or minus 3.9 microfarad. Then error equal to 3.9 microfarad. Then which option is correct? That is option C is the right answer. Clear? Given that two capacitors are connected in parallel, in parallel combination of capacitance, capacitances are added directly. 
given errors are absolute, then you have to take 150 plus r minus 2, 150 plus r minus 2.4, 120 plus r minus 1.5. Normal analysis 150 plus 120, 270. In addition, absolute errors are added directly. This is 2.4, this is 1.5, 3.9. Then error equal to 3.9 microfarad. That is option C is the right answer. Concentrate.